Hello everyone! Welcome to the part 2 of my discussion about simple interest. If you haven't seen the part 1, you can see the link in the description of this video. In this lesson video, I will be discussing the two types of simple interest, the ordinary and exact simple interest, as well as the concept of approximate and actual time and how to use them as an application in solving problems involving simple interest. I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. There are two types of simple interest, the ordinary and exact simple interest. The ordinary simple interest is denoted by I sub O and the exact simple interest is denoted by I sub E. Let us now differentiate the two. The ordinary simple interest is using time with an approximate number of 360 days in a year, while for the exact simple interest, we are using time with an exact number of 365 days in a year. Since we are talking about simple interest, the formula is just the same as I equals P times R times T, but this time we're going to use time 360 days basis for the IO and 365 days as basis for our IE. So for IO or ordinary simple interest, the formula will be P or the principal amount times the R, the interest rate, times the number of days given in a problem or in the problem divided by 360 days. And for exact simple interest, the formula will be principal amount times the rate of interest times the number of days all over 365 days. So this will be the difference between the two types of simple interest. Let us now apply the formulas in a sample problem. If you deposit an amount of 60,000 pesos for 385 days, at 4.75% interest rate, how much would be the interest and the final amount if you decided to deposit it at A, ordinary simple interest, and B, at exact simple interest? So let us now solve for the interest and the final amount using ordinary simple interest. So the solution will be for IO, that is P times R times the number of days all over 360 days. Our P or the principal amount is the 60,000 pesos, the deposited amount, while the interest rate, 4.75%, will be equal to 0 0.0475. And the number of days given in our problem is 385 days. So substituting the values in our formula, we will now have 60,000 times 0 0.0475 times 385 divided by 360. And that will give us 3,047.92 pesos. So this is the ordinary simple interest. Then, if we're going to solve for the final amount, we simply add this ordinary simple interest with our principal amount, which is 60,000. So 60,000 pesos plus the ordinary simple interest, 3,047.92 pesos, our final amount will be 63,047.92 pesos. For the exact simple interest, the formula is just the same. However, the difference is that the denominator will be 365 days. So substituting the values of P, R, and the number of days, we will have 60,000 times 0 0.0475 times 385 days divided by 365 days. Our exact simple interest will be 3,006.16 pesos. That is our exact simple interest. And then, if we're going to determine our final amount using the exact simple interest, 
we simply add 60,000 pesos by 3,006.16, we will have 63,006.16 pesos. And that will be the final amount. Let us again solve a problem involving ordinary simple interest. How long will it take for a principal amount of 100,000 pesos to earn an ordinary simple interest of 12,000 pesos at 15% interest rate? So the given R, the principal amount of 100,000 pesos, the ordinary simple interest or IO, which is equal to 12,000 pesos, and the interest rate of 15% or that is equal to 0 0.15. And we are asked to determine how long will it take. So that means we're going to look for the number of days. For the ordinary simple interest, which is I, O equals P times R times T, we know that in ordinary simple interest, that is I O equals P times R times the number of days all over 360 days. So using this formula for ordinary simple interest, we can derive for the solution in finding the number of days it will take for the principal amount to earn such ordinary simple interest. So the formula for the number of days will be IO times 360 days all over P times R. So all we have to do is to simply substitute the values of IO and P as well as the R in our formula for the number of days. So that will be 12,000 pesos, that is our ordinary simple interest, times 360 days. So both IO and 360 days are on the numerator divided by the product of the principal amount 100,000 pesos times 0 0.15. So the number of days will be equal to 288 days. So this means that it will take 288 days for the principal amount of 100,000 pesos to earn is an ordinary simple interest of 12,000 pesos at a rate of 15%. Let us now proceed with a discussion about approximate and actual time. In this table, it shows the two different types of time, the approximate and actual time. For the approximate time, we consider that there are 30 days for each month, regardless of what month it is. Let's say for January, we will consider 30 days for January as well as for February all throughout up to December. So we will be having a total of 360 days in a year if we're going to use approximate time. While for the actual time, we're going to use the actual number of numbers of days for each month. So for example, there are 31 actual days for January, 28 for February, or 29 in case it is a leap year, 30 days for June, 31 days for August, and 31 days for December. So these are the two types of time that we're going to use in case that we will be encountering dates and we have to count the number of days involved in a problem to solve the ordinary and exact simple interest. Let us now solve this problem involving approximate and actual time. Determine the number of days from September 25, 2018 to February 10, 2019 using A, approximate time, and B, actual time. So we're going to determine the number of days from September 25, 2018 up to February 10, 2019. So let us first use the approximate time. So from September 25 up to 
September 30, there are 5 remaining days. And then, since we are considering approximate time, therefore, there will be 30 days for each month. So, 30 days for October, 30 days for November, and 30 days for December, as well as for January. And then, the date will end at February 10, so that means there will be only 10 days for February. So, if we're going to add all of these days, the sum would be 135 days. So, there are 135 approximate days from September 25, 2018 up to February 10, 2019. For the actual time, from September 25 to September 30, there are 5 remaining days. For October, we will consider its actual number of days. So there are 31 days for October, 30 days for November, 31 days for December, and 31 days for January. And then, the end date will be February 10, so there are 10 days for February. So adding all of these days, there will be 138 days. So that means there are 138 actual days from September 25, 2018 up to February 10, 2019. So let us now apply the concept of time in a problem involving ordinary and exact simple interest. Determine the amount of ordinary and exact simple interests that can be earned by a principal amount of 10,000 pesos at 5% from September 25, 2018 to February 10, 2019 using approximate and actual time. So the given are the principal amount of 10,000 pesos, the interest rate of 5% or that is equal to 0 0.05, and as you notice, our two given dates September 25, 2018 and February 10, 2019 are the two dates that we use in our previous example. So we already computed the approximate number of days which is equal to 135 days and the actual number of days equal to 138 days. So we are asked to solve for the ordinary simple interest using approximate time, that is our A, and for B, the ordinary simple interest using the actual time. For C, the exact simple interest using approximate time. And lastly, for letter D, the exact simple interest using actual time. So, for letter A, the ordinary simple interest using approximate time, the, the formula will be P times R, this time, the number of days will be based on what we computed, the approximate number of days, all over 360 days. So all we have to do is just simply substitute the values. We will have the principal amount of 10,000 pesos times the interest rate 0 0.05 times the approximate number of days, 135 days, all over 360 days. So the ordinary simple interest using approximate time will be 187.50 pesos. This is our ordinary simple interest using the approximate time. Next is the ordinary simple interest using the actual time. So all we have to do is to change the numerator into actual number of days. So our formula now will be P times R times the actual number of days all over 360 days. Substituting the values, we will have 10,000 pesos times 0 0.05 times 138 days all over 360 days. And we will have 191.67 pesos. This is our ordinary simple interest using actual number of days. 
for our exact simple interest using approximate time, since this is exact simple interest, our denominator now will be 365 days. So our formula will be P times R times the approximate number of days all over 365 days. And substituting the values for P, R, and approximate days, we will now have 10,000 times 0 0.05 times 135 days all over 365 days. And that will give us a value of 184.93 pesos. That is our exact simple interest using approximate time. And lastly, for our exact simple interest using actual time, this will become now P times R times the actual number of days all over 365 days. So we will have 10,000 times 0 0.05 times 138 days all over 365 days. That will give us 189.04 pesos. So that is our exact simple interest using actual number of days. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this lesson video helped you a lot in understanding the concept of simple interest. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time and God bless.